hello guys so have you been wondering how you can come to canada on a work visa yes i have got you i'm the purpose queen and if you're seeing me for the first time i talk about life in canada i talk about working in canada how to immigrate to canada pr remote jobs all of that good stuff please make sure you subscribe and to my og subscribers i am super super grateful thank you for sticking with me today i'll be talking about the caregiver program here in canada and i will not just be talking about what it entails but also how you can apply and how you can get it for yourself and move down here to canada stay tuned So I'm going to go straight into it and I do hope you watch till the end because this is really vital information and you don't want to miss any part of it. The caregiver pilot program is one that has been done to enable people coming to Canada as caregivers, not just for the elderly, but also for children. So I'll be talking about the requirements for this job and how you can go about processing it. I'll also link the necessary um, information in my description box below so for this route you need an employer and hold on before you start feeling like oh my god this is going to be stressful no you don't need an lmia but you do need an employer and your employer doesn't have to be an organization it can be an individual who needs a care staff for maybe their child or their elderly parents or whatever but the important thing is you need a valid job offer to process this and it has to be legit because the employer will fill out a form on the IRCC website which um, entails them putting down the re remuneration which is like how much you'll be paid it entails them putting in how many hours you'll be working for them for is it full-time is it part-time but ordinarily or should I say importantly this should be full-time since it's a job that is going to require you to move so the employer has to put details of the job like where you'll be staying if you'll be in-house or if you be coming in to work for them on a day-to-day -day basis whatever it is so this has to be checked this has to be properly um, stated so for the other requirements which are just as important just like your PR you need an ECA which is the education credential assessment that proves that whatever educational level you are at qualifies for the same thing in Canada so if for instance you have like a PGD from another country you have to do an ECA to ensure that it links to a PGD or whatever it might link to in Canada maybe in Canada it might be like a second degree or whatever but it is important for you to do an educational credential assessment i have mentioned um what an educational credential assessment is before so i'll probably just link that video i don't want to go too much into it but the most common organization people use for that is west the world education services so i will just like i said link all the important links below Secondly, you need your IELTS. Yes, you can't escape IELTS because they need to know your use of English. But the good thing is with this scheme, your IELTS, you just need a band five. A band five, which means you need five in reading, five in speaking, five in listening, and even four in writing. You know, for writing, you don't usually need as high as the other ones. So that alone will put you, a, um, will put you in a good position to get this job. You need one year post secondary work experience and this is even better if your experience is in caregiving maybe you've done it before like as a minder as it, at a school or what have you but one year post secondary experience is very important the best part of this thing for me is that there is no age restriction 18 and above so even if you're a senior citizen and you feel like yes you can still be a caregiver feel free to apply for this there is also no proof of funds i know that that gets a lot of people worried but there is no proof of funds in this one you just need to pay for the application fee you also need to pay for a right of permanent residence fee as you will be applying for permanent residence along with the work permit um please listen carefully to this part there is a work permit fee and if you are bringing in your dependents because yes you are allowed to bring in your immediate family like spouse children if you're bringing in your wife or your husband you also need to pay for them for an open work permit for them so that they can be working maybe in a different field it doesn't have to be this field and you also need to pay for study permits for the children 
the timeline for the processing of this visa from once you apply takes one year so once you've applied you just need to relax because it might not be immediate where you get um an invitation from them it could take up to one year but that is that is pretty fair that is how this processes have been in canada for the past few years you will be given a three years work permit if you get this and that work permit is not closed, but it is an occupational work permit, which means even if you leave this employer, whatever role you go, um, whatever, I won't call it role because you still need to stick to this same role. That is what occupational work permit means. So even if you leave this job, whichever job you're going to next has to be this same role. So you can only work as a caregiver because that is the visa you came in with, but it can be with any employer, it can be maybe even with multiple employers. Bear in mind that even though you are applying through the PR portal, you can apply for PR after two years of this visa. So you're applying through the PR portal because it is pretty much under the same bracket and you are applying for both, but you are not a PR, bear that in mind, you are not a PR coming in with this visa. It is kind of like a work visa, but under a different scheme. So after two years, then you apply for your PR. Bear in mind that if you're a foster parent, this does not count as the same thing because technically that is your child. Yes, you only this only counts if you're being paid, if you're working as a caregiver. Not saying that, oh, I'm taking care of this child so I can apply. No, it doesn't work the same way. So I mentioned that IELTS is required, but please note that it's not just IELTS because if you're also French speaking, you can also apply and then you take the education or should I say the language assessment test for French. Okay guys, so these are very key points to know about this scheme, to know about this um, caregiver pilot program. I would Put all the important links like i said in the bio and as usual i'm in the comments ask me any question anything that is unclear i just wanted to keep this video straight to the point so that you can go out there and start applying thank you for watching i hope you do like this video i hope you share it a lot of people need to know about this scheme the world needs to go out more and i will see you in my next video